hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and this is Roid and today I'm going to show you and present this new flow features of winter 23 and I hope you are good and doing well so please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new because it's a new features winter 23 release okay so let's get started without any further delay so first of all winter 23 release is approaching and it will be in our environment soon just like the last few releases also this new release has many great features for Salesforce flow so I am here to present most important updates regarding this winter 23 release so let's get started without any further delay so this is the first feature that is called toolbox is hidden in auto layout so by default toolbox is hidden in auto layout you can use this toggle on the left side of the select in element button to show or hide it so you can see here now you can see this one this is small icon that is called toggle button so you can hide it or you can show it so based on our requirement you can choose that so uh, this is first feature about toolbox is hidden in auto layout okay so this is a very most important features if you don't need like some spaces if you need so you can toggle this button and you can work accordingly right so come to the next point and next feature that is called search element to add in auto layout so as you know in order to add a new element to the canvas you have to click the plus icon after clicking the plus icon now you can search the element that you want to add in your screen you can search the custom action as well this feature is available in all of the flow types except before save trigger record trigger flows okay so now you can see the screenshot here I mentioned right so this is the search box under this search box you can search uh, based on your requirement any element as you need right so this is the second feature and this is the very most important and time consuming process so it's saving our time okay now come to the next uh, feature that is called cut and paste element in auto layout so starting with the winter 23 release you can cut and paste the single element in the auto layout mode before the release in order to do this you had to switch to the freeform layout okay so how to do that now you can see I have this screenshot so just you can see this uh, scissor icon here cut element and if you want to cut any element let's say get records so once you click on this symbols so it's automatic cut your get records like this so once you cut it so it's showing like as a dotted line around this get record after that you can paste it you can paste anywhere as you want let's say here so you can see the option that is called paste this uh, like a notepad icon here okay so that is called paste icon okay so you can paste it anywhere as you want in your screen flow or any flow as you want okay so this is the another features under winter 23 okay Re uh, under flow so now come to the fourth point and this is a very most important like update related record option in a record trigger flow so Salesforce added the fourth option to the update record element in record trigger flow using the update record related to the record, uh, record trigger flow option you can easily update the related records after selecting this option you have to select the related object and optionally add the filter condition if you are familiar with process builder this option was available there as well so it was already possible to update the related records but it's a new options will save the time for your show so you can consider it is an, a shortcut we can say that this is a shortcut and it is important to mention that this is a new option is not available in before save trigger flow record trigger flow okay except the before delete event so here you can see the option I already selected here in this sl uh, slide here you can see like update record related to the account record that trigger the flow so this is the another features added 
under the flow okay so now come to the next point and this is the another feature no code flow testing goes GA so here you can see Salesforce introduced no code flow testing for record triggered flow in this in the summer 22 release if you don't know about summer 22 release notes so you can watch my previous video and you can learn lots of things under my playlist right so it used to be as a beta but it goes as a GA generally available the winter 22 release okay so now you can see you can create your data so this is another features now come to the next features that is called formula checking in flow formula builder so here you can see like I uh, here in this screenshot like new collection filter I just uh, created these all things right here you can see the condition formula under the formula you can create your formula based on your need and after that you will be see one button here that is called check syntax and based on this syntax you can check your formula is valid or not so Salesforce introduced this formula builder for the start element of the record trigger flow in the summer 22 release in winter 23 release formula builder checker becomes available in the formula resource and collection filter element so you can uh, use that okay so it's uh, generally available and uh, you can use anywhere as you want in particular validations now come to the next point that is called in and not in operators for the data elements so there are two new operators available in the data element like uh, get create update delete using the in and not in operator you can save so much time and reduce loops or any other element from your flows for example if you have a text collections of IDs IDs you had a to loop through them use a get record element to the query each one of the those records since it involves a SQL in the loop it was never recommended you know very well so don't use SQL under the for loop okay so therefore you had it to use some custom action from the anything as you have like winter 23 release you can use the in operator in a get record elements so that you won't need any any other or any of those loops or custom actions so here you can see once you filter it now you can see id in there is a another operators under this drop down like in not in something like this is the two new operators under winter 23 flow uh, releases okay so under this flow features you can see th in these two operators like in and uh, not in okay so this is the new features okay so here come to the next point that is called bigger and wider screen editor so this is the another feature previously finally the screen editor is a bigger and a wider it might be a small enhancement for the Salesforce flow but it is a something that uh, everybody needed for a long time I hope so All right so this is another features come to the next point and lookup screen component supports multiple records so previously we cannot select multiple records so there is there was already a lookup component in the flow screen you know very well it is used to support only one selection at a time just uh, like any other lookups fields you know starting winter 23 release you can allow the user select multiple records from the same lookup component as you see from the screen below here you can see this is a screen okay you can set the maximum number of selection based on your need if you leave the parameter as a blank then the user can select only one record at a time please keep in your mind so here you can see I already mentioned here like five so you can select maximum five records here in fr from this lookups okay lookup so you can maintain this number of selections based on your need otherwise if by default if you want if you don't want to select these options and it should be like as a blank here so you can select only one item at a time here not multiple if you make it as a like five six seven based on your need so you can select that uh, that that type of number of element here okay so 
here you can see this one right so after use this selected record selected record IDs will be store a collect text collection please keep in your mind okay however as mentioned before you can easily get those records by using a new in operators so based on the operator we can filter out there okay so this is the new feature and come to the next feature that is called record type filtering for pick list in dynamic forms so pick list filled in dynamic form for the flow uh, fill selection start to support record type filtering basically so this was a very critical limitation of this feature at runtime the flow user sees the pick list value available to the selected record if no record type is associated with the dis uh, displayed record all value are listed like that so here you can see uh, we have the filtering uh, systems under uh, pick list that is called in dynamic forms in winter 23 so this is another feature under winter 23 flows so this is another feature that is called dynamic for form for flow goes GA so basically GA is generally available as you know dynamic form for flow fill se uh, section was a beta feature for a long time in the winter 23 release it's become generally available and it not be a beta feature anymore so here you can see this one so you can use dynamic form in flow as well come to the next point and this is the very most important point and I like this feature because data table you know very well like uh, rows and columns so based on our data we can present our data in rows and column okay um, based on this data table so data table is probably the most focus of the screen component this is a great component and it can be considered as a must have for screen flows so therefore it was a it was time for Salesforce to release official version of this component winter 23 release the official data table uh, component arise as a beta features using this component you can build table from records collection so here you can see column configuration this is the column you can arrange your column like uh, first column this one second column third column and you can arrange the column based on your need and here you can see row selection mode like multiple single and view only so based on your need you can select this one so this is the another feature under win winter 23 okay so here you can see the last feature under the flows right so under flow uh, workflow rules cr uh, creation is disabled so if you want to create workflow rules under the org so this feature is not available right now so this is the end of an uh, era winter 23 release you cannot create a new workflow rules anymore actually after all these great features of the flow there is a no point to create a new workflow rules so go with the flows okay so here you can see the screenshot that is called create in flow builder if you want to create any workflow rule so you will be see this kind of pop-ups like create in flow builder okay so so however you can still add it activate or deactivate your existing workflow rules okay so I hope guys you learn something new and this is the very most important features under winter 23 release org and uh, flows features and uh, please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates I will show you all the features in practically once we will get our org as functionally okay so please keep in touch until then bye bye take care and thank you for watching see ya